Whether it's a building shaped like a rolled up carpet or one shaped like an egg, when architects, builders, and other creatives decide to let their imagination run wild, the results can be amazing. Stick around as I take you through the weirdest buildings in the world. The Zayed National Museum is being built in Abu Dhabi, and it's designed to memorialize Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. He was the first president of the UAE. The building was underway when it came to a halt in late 2021, but apparently it's back underway and will be finished around 2025. The wing-shaped towers, which will likely look incredible based on the drawings, are a nod to the fact that Zayed loved falconry, but they're more than just a great look. They're actually solar thermal towers. They'll basically be chimneys that funnel cool air into the museum. Despite the fact that the date of completion keeps getting pushed back, they are aiming to have it open at the same time as the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi. So 2025 could potentially be a big year for Abu Dhabi architecture. The Bubble Palace is located just outside Cannes, France, and it's equally fun to say in French, Palais Boule. It's a residence that was constructed for a French industrialist by renowned architect Antti Lovag. Lovag likes to describe his architectural style as habitology, and to him that means everything is rounded and smooth, and helps out whoever's in the building in their quest for creativity. The Bubble Palace was originally built in 1984, but things got even more kooky when famed fashion designer Pierre Cardin bought it in 1992. He brought Lovag back in to consult and make the place even more bubbly and fun. Together, they expanded it into what it is today. That includes almost 13,000 square feet of living space with 10 bedrooms and a bunch of swimming pools and waterfalls. There's also an open-air amphitheater that holds 500 people as well as a panoramic lounge. At the time, it was referred to as an architectural folly, but soon it became famous for being an incredible work of art and architecture. Today, it's still a residence, but you can actually rent it out for parties and whatnot. Now, this next building might look like Party Central, but it's a lot more formal than it seems. The Cybertecture Egg Office building is in Mumbai, and it's not just a clever name, the building literally looks like a giant egg. It's a commercial office building, 13 stories tall, and it was designed by architect James Law. With the help of the engineering firm started by Ove Arup, once considered one of the top structural engineers in the world. The egg, which comprises the exterior of the structure, uses what's called a diagrid exoskeleton. That basically means the materials are organized and meet up diagonally, allowing for the building to be plenty rigid, but with less building material needed. The egg office has an eye towards sustainability and not only has about 350,000 square feet of office space, along with 400 parking spaces, but it does it with only 75% of the space that most offices would. Plus, they use photovoltaic panels and wind turbines to generate energy for the building, to go along with grey water recycling for all its irrigation and landscaping. So this is not just an egg, it's a good egg. And where might you put that egg for a day out in the park? Why, a giant picnic basket, which sounds absurd until I tell you about the basket building in Newark, Ohio. It was originally built to be the HQ of a company that literally built maple wood baskets, called the Longerberger Company. The practice of creating a building to look like an object that's closely associated with that building is called mimetic architecture. It's also called novelty architecture. No big surprise there. The medium market basket was the best-selling item for Longaburger at the time they were building the headquarters. So they decided to make it a basket that was 160 times the size of the real thing. And apparently some architects pitched designs to the company's founder, Dave Longaburger, that had a hint of looking like a basket. Dave flat out rejected them all and ultimately held up one of his best-selling baskets and said, make it look exactly like that. And so they did. It cost them $30 million to make and was finished up in 1997. It's 180,000 square feet big and made up of seven stories. In 2018, the building ended up in the hands of a developer named Steve Kuhn, who snagged it for a pretty cheap $1.2 million. He hasn't revealed any plans for it yet. But one great plan would be to subscribe to our channel. Just saying. The Eden Project is a set of giant domes in Cornwall, England, that are so interesting looking, they've managed to generate over a billion pounds in tourism money for the local economy since they opened in 2001. 
The project is made up of a series of outdoor gardens, as well as two primary biodome environments. One is rainforest and the other is a Mediterranean climate. To build it, they needed 230 miles of scaffolding, which ended up being a Guinness World Record. The rainforest biome is 50 meters tall, and the folks running it like to point out that you could fit the Tower of London inside it. In addition to being a great spot to visit if you're ever in the Cornwall area, it's been used in Hollywood productions like 2002's James Bond film Die Another Day. Plus, it hosted a giant concert for the Live 8 concert series. Another fun movement in architecture is known as facadism. It's where a building is constructed in or around an existing one, making the site a blend of old and new architecture. The headquarters for Chilean shipping company CSAV is a great example. Located in Valparaiso, Chile, the tall glass building towers over Sotomayor Square, but surrounding the bottom stories are the remnants of an older building, so the overall look is almost like the new building sprouted from the ground inside the old one. The older building has all the trappings of the local area, ionic columns, fluted pilasters, etc. And the new building is a highly modern looking structure, accentuating the overall look. And given that CSAV was started way back in 1872, yet has slowly turned into one of the biggest shipping and freight companies on the planet, it's perhaps a perfect match that its HQ is a hybrid of old and new. Some buildings are strictly modern, but designed to make you worry if they were built before the era of safety regulations. The Crooked House in Sopot, Poland is not actually a house, but it is crooked. It's a commercial building that boasts about 43,000 square feet of retail shopping space. But unlike most malls, this one kind of looks like it's melting, and also like it's going to tip over at any moment. But not to worry, the Crooked House is architecturally sound, and it's not about to disappear in the Polish sun. It was purposefully built that way by architect pair Sotinski and Zaleski, who helped construct the mall in 2004. They used fairy tale drawings from the works of Polish illustrators Jan Marcin Sanser and Per Dahlberg as their inspiration. And the end result was a giant building that looks like it's right out of a children's book. While many of these buildings are meant to function as either office spaces, hotels, or shops, and the structure of the building is merely a fun bonus, that's not the case with Wonderworks in Orlando, Florida. That's because this place was built as a center of edutainment. The building, which was constructed to look like it's literally flipped upside down and sitting on top of another building, is an amusement park in and of itself. The Wonderworks company built this 28,000 square foot building as a place where kids of all ages can come to interact with the 100 plus hands-on exhibits. The idea of the attraction is to spark the imaginations of every visitor and challenge their minds as well. Unlike the other buildings in this video, this house in Toronto wasn't designed to look like a house cut in half. Instead, it ended up that way after the units next to it were knocked down. A group of developers originally tried to buy all the houses in the row, to then knock down and create something new. All the owners they asked agreed to sell, that is, except for the Valcos family. The end result? What looks like a Victorian house, basically cut in half. Finally, we have the Azerbaijan National Carpet Museum, located in Baku, Azerbaijan. It's shaped like, well, a giant rolled up carpet. While the museum's contents had been open to the public since 1967, this location was opened in 2004 and was designed by an Austrian architect named Franz Johns. It took more than six years to build. Inside, you'll see the biggest collection of Azerbaijani carpets on the planet. It also houses 10,000 other items, ranging from metalworks and ceramics to Bronze Age jewelry and embroidery. Okay, I'm gonna go draw up plans for an office building shaped like my head. Why? Because it would be awesome to say, after our meeting in my forehead, let's take a stroll around my cerebellum. But hey, that's just me. Know of any other weird buildings we should know about? Pop them in the comments section.